everyone, in today's video, I wanna show you how to set up FaceTime on your iPhone or your iPad. FaceTime is available on Mac computers as well. It's a little bit of a different process, so I'll cover that in the following video. To set up FaceTime here on your phone, on your iPhone or your iPad, open the Settings app. By default, it is not turned on, especially if you have a new phone, this won't be on yet, you have to turn it on. If you open the Settings app, and on this page, if you just scroll down here, let's go ahead and scroll down, we're looking for FaceTime. We need to activate it here. Click this here, and by default, it will be turned off. You see it says FaceTime is off. I need to toggle this on here. I'll press that. And I'm gonna give it a second here. And it's either gonna show you phone numbers and emails connected to your Apple ID, or it's gonna give you a pop-up and ask you to log into your Apple ID. Now, during the sign-up process of any iPhone or iPad, you should have already got an Apple ID and signed up for that. If you haven't yet, just look up how to sign up and get an Apple ID. You do have to log in with your Apple ID here. Now here you do have some options. When people ask you to join a FaceTime call, a video call or audio call, they could either use your phone number or they could use your email addresses connected to your Apple ID. You could check any one of them on or off here. And same thing with caller ID. Do you want your phone number to show up for when you call people or do you want one of the emails to show up? So I just selected my phone number in that case. That's all we have to do on this page here. Now, all we have to do here is launch FaceTime. So I'm gonna scroll down here and look up FaceTime. And here we are inside of FaceTime. And if you've never used it before, this is what it looks like. But we did need to set it up first in the settings. To start a FaceTime conversation, a video or audio chat, it could be both. You do have to be connected to Wi-Fi or your cell data. So I'm connected to Wi-Fi here and it's gonna use my Wi-Fi right here. Make sure that's connected. If you don't have Wi-Fi, it just uses your cell data on this to connect. One of those two things does have to be on for this to work. Now I could press the plus sign here and I could type someone's phone number or press the plus sign to get access to my contact or type someone's name in here that's already in my contact. And just like that, I've added them here using their phone number. Again, you could use email addresses as well if they have that set up on their FaceTime. If they don't, you could share this video with them so they could set up FaceTime on their device, iPhone or iPad as well. And you could add up to 32 different people here. So I just added one to have a one-on-one -on -one conversation, but this could turn into a group chat if you add many more people here. And you could do an audio call or you could do a video call to start a FaceTime conversation with video. And it's that easy to set up FaceTime on your iPhone or your iPad. Again, if you want to do it on your Mac, make sure you watch that video. And I hope this one was helpful to you. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below this video. And I hope to see you next time.